our first look of the 2023 Troy Trojans football team as the Trojans hit the gridiron to start to fall camp. The message clear from players and head coach John Summerall last year is over. This season just started. We're more excited to come out this year to prove the point that like we're not one hit wonders and we don't believe that in the slightest. I know like there might be some people who doubt us and the doubt's always going to be there, but that's fine. We like to prove people wrong. That's what we did last season. We're going to do it again. A strong statement from senior safety Del Pettis as the Trojans hit the practice fields bright and early Wednesday. Great to get back out on the grass. You know, um, there's four, say, four phases to a football team. One is phase one's winter workouts. Phase two is spring practice. Phase three is the summer. And phase four is called football season. Two plus hours on the grass. Troy welcomes 60 plus newcomers, but return 19 starters. One of those returning starters is quarterback Gunnar Watson. My goodness, Gunnar, uh, completely different guy than a year ago. Changed his nutrition, um, his diet, his, his details in his weight program have, have changed greatly and he is also leading the team differently. The six year senior in his last year says he feels great heading into his final season. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's the last one and I felt like last year having success, it takes a lot of not a lot of weight off our back because I mean, we got to go out and do the same thing this year and we we're not worried about last year, but I mean, it's just I'm a lot more comfortable out and the offense is not brand new to me. And Watson is getting back one of his go to wide receivers and Dothan native in Jabri Barber, who went down with a leg injury in early October last season. I feel great. I'm loving it. Everybody out here with high intensity and I just can't wait till we get back into the season rolling. So, yeah, it's be good. A Troy spokesperson did tell us that defensive end TJ Jackson has been suspended indefinitely for violating team rules. I'm Rosie Langello for WSFA 12 Sports, Troy.